originally it was a uh, a industrial park, uh, basically you know, before, like in the early 1900s, they built steel steel uh, uh, a lot of steel factories. They built chains. And uh, several of the buildings that we'll see as we come through here uh, are the original buildings from uh, the early 1900s. Uh, the ones that you see with the steel and it's corrugated, it's, you know, waffled, you know. Um, as you can see, it's, it's Saturday and it's very busy down here. But this, most of these people are local people that uh, come down here to the market and to buy their groceries for the day. Uh, some, a lot of the people are tourists. Uh, this time of year it's not so busy for tourists, but uh, you get people, it's mostly locals here today. Uh, Granville Island is largely uh, focused on the arts. Uh, a lot of sculptors, painters, and, and other types of artists here. It actually houses the uh, uh, the Emily Carr Institute, which is a uh, art college university. Like for example, you look on the left here. You see this building here with the with the steel wall. That's original from uh, early 1900s, and it's just been you know restoration. So anything you see with that sort of wall is uh, original. Several local artists uh, have studios here where they can uh, sell their their artwork. So you will find once you you walk around in the market area, you'll see lots of uh, lots of people with little tables and selling their uh, art. Uh, there'll be several musicians down here playing music on the street as well. On the right here is a uh, place called Arts Umbrella. It uh, is like a daycare or a, a, like a like a crash where uh, children can go and they have like a small classroom there and they give them the paintbrush and they say go and make you know make art and it's it's free for for all the like young students. So the white building in front of us here is a, uh, uh, the only hotel on Granville Island, but there's also a pub inside there if uh, that interests you. And directly in front of us here is uh, a, a evidence of the old industrial movement here on Granville Island. Uh, if you look on this little ramp here, there's almost there's train tracks on each side where that crane used to come all the way out here and to fill up the train car that was on the road here where we're driving right now. The silver building on the right and the one on the left is that is the Emily Carr uh, Institute for, uh, University for Art. And school is in session right now, so there are several students.